Hello and welcome to this electrical science and principles training video. In this video we're going to answer the question how are the lights in my house wired in series or in parallel? Now we've done an awful lot of work on previous videos on series and parallel resistors but in this video we're going to see some practical application. So which is it? Okay so to answer this question we've set up some lighting on our electronics board here so I've got these three lamps connected into the circuit and these could represent the light fittings in three different rooms in a house or a commercial property uh, or even an industrial building. We've got here uh, let's say we've got the kitchen, the dining room and the lounge something like that and in this first circuit I've wired them up in series with each other. Now there's a couple of problems with connecting things in series. First of all as you can see each one of these lamps is quite dim at the moment. Now we'll explain exactly why that is in a future video, but you can see here that these are all fairly dim. So that's not a great start. The other challenge that we have is that in a series circuit, if just one of the lamps fails, so let's say this lamp fails, so I remove that, look what's happened to the other lamps. They've all turned off. That's because the current, as it flows through here, can't get past this point here it can't make the connection across there and therefore it's not going to work so i'll plug that back in and we've got the lamps back on again now hopefully that's already starting to make you think well what about switching so here we've got a switch for uh, the kitchen fitting we've got a switch that's connected to the dining room fitting and a switch connected to the lounge fitting and the problem that we've got straight away as you can see is what's going to happen to this lamp if i operate this switch so if i open the circuit here by operating this switch you can see that instantly the lamps have all extinguished. So I haven't just switched off the kitchen lamp, I've switched off all three of those lamps, which is obviously not very, very good. So again, put this into your house. Imagine that the lights in your house are wired up like this and you've got a situation where operating one lamp, trying to turn that on and off, means that all of the lamps have to be operated at the same time. Uh, and that's very clearly because we've broken the circuit, the current is flowing through the switch to each of these lamps and therefore it's not gonna work very well. Let's just demonstrate for the sake of completeness. You can see if I operate the switch that's in the dining room, again, I've turned off the kitchen, the dining room and the lounge lamp because the current can no longer travel past that point. And so it's not even passing through here effectively. Uh, so it's kind of a bit misleading to say the current gets to this point and can't go any further than this because actually what's happening is that current can't flow along here at all because it can't bridge that gap. So this is a fairly unacceptable and useless arrangement for lighting installed in a domestic property. So let's rearrange this and turn this now into a parallel circuit. Okay, so now you can see that we've got this connected up as a parallel circuit. You can see that now the current can flow from here to that lamp and back to the start of the circuit again. And here, it doesn't have to go that way to get to this lamp. It doesn't have to go that way to get to that lamp. So the first thing hopefully that you'll notice is that all three of these lamps are now much brighter and they're actually shining at their full brightness because in a parallel circuit, remember voltage stays the same across each point in the circuit and therefore each one of these is getting the full in this case 12 volts from the supply so the reason that people get a little bit confused with this is that what happens in a, a typical lighting circuit is you've got the line conductor here that goes out to one side of the light fitting and then the neutral brings the current back again and what we've actually got going on here is that you can see they, they kind of split apart and can be clearly labeled up and that's how most electrical drawings are shown in reality of course this line conductor which would be brown in a uk installation and the neutral which would be blue are actually normally contained within the same cable so they're kind of wrapped together so actually you'd take this uh, to either the switch or the light fitting in the first place and then do some clever wiring behind there in order to maintain the parallel circuit. So in this parallel circuit, we've got additional advantages now. You can see that if I operate that one switch, like so, it only operates that one lamp. And the same goes for the rest of the circuit as well. Operating the one switch operates the one lamp and operating that switch operates that lamp. So that means that now, because we've got this wired in parallel, what it means is that we can go to any single room that we want. We can go to the kitchen, the dining room, or the lounge and turn on any one of those lights. It, none of them will affect the uh, brightness of the others really. So you can see there that we've got now just the kitchen light on. We could go from there to the lounge and turn the light on. And then maybe we remember we've put the kitchen light on, we didn't want it on. So we go to the dining room and put that on. You can see that 
each one of these lamps is now completely operable uh, independently of the other lights. In a typical lighting circuit, the lamps are wired in parallel with each other. Now you may be wondering about a situation where you've got two, three or even more lights all being controlled by one switch. So the fact that they're all turning on and off at the same time, does that mean that they're being wired in series with each other? Well, to find the answer to that question, watch this video here. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee, please click the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching.